During the same time that Romanesque architecture was enjoying its popularity, neoclassical architecture was coming into its own. Neoclassical buildings can be broken down into two further styles, classical revival and beaux-arts. Both styles were popular from the late 1880s until the 1930s. Neoclassical architecture, or classical revival as it is also known, is what it sounds like, a reinterpretation and revival of the architectural styles of ancient Greece and Rome. Mostly used in public buildings, these structures boasted tall columns, tall windows, and were made of brick or stone. According to PHMC's architecture guide, this style is one of the most commonly seen across Pennsylvania and the country, and was inspired by the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago, held in 1893, which promoted a renewed interest in the classical forms. Classical revival style buildings often have massive columns with classical Doric, Ionic, or Corinthian capitals topped by a front-facing pediment. One of the most distinctive versions of this style features a full-height columned front porch topped with a classical pediment. Neoclassical architecture is less ornate than the Beaux-Arts style, which was also popular in the 1885 to 1930s period and employs similar classical details. Beaux-Arts architecture then developed as a reaction to Victorian architecture and originated in France at a particular school, the École des Beaux-Arts, where professional architects trained. Buildings in this style, like neoclassical buildings, returned to classical elements like columns and pediments, but used those elements in exotic ways. Decorative exuberance characterized Beaux-Arts buildings. PHMC's architecture guide notes that the Beaux-Arts style is especially suited for public buildings designed to deliver a strong symbolic message, such as libraries, museums, courthouses, train stations, and government offices. In fact, the State Capitol Building in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, completed in 1906 and designed by Joseph Houston, is a penultimate example of this style. Art Deco architecture is perhaps one of the most recognizable styles to us today. The roaring 1920s saw the popularization of this architectural style. In fact, Art Deco is better characterized as a style of design rather than an approach to building. Rounded shapes, parallel lines, and a streamlined look all exemplified this style, which retained its popularity until World War II. Its sharp-edged looks and stylized geometrical decorative details are very distinctive. This development of Art Deco was an intentional break with past precedents and an effort to embody the ideals of the modern age. It was the first American architectural style to look forward rather than back, as was the case with the preceding revival styles. Both styles were part of the modern movement in architecture in the early 20th century, and both represent a conscious break with past revival precedents. The Art Deco style first gained public attention in 1922 in a Chicago design competition. Art Deco buildings have a sleek, linear appearance with stylized, often geometric ornamentation. Chevrons, zigzags, and other geometrical motifs are common forms of ornament on Art Deco style buildings. Since Art Deco was seen as a rejection of historical precedents in its use of new construction technology, it was particularly suitable for the design of the 20th century's newly emerging building form, the skyscraper. In Pennsylvania, Art Deco style buildings may be found in a variety of forms, from tall urban skyscrapers to smaller scale buildings such as post offices, theaters, schools, armories, and apartment buildings.